Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. If you're new around here, today's video is going to be a what's new in IKEA for 2024 January. So I've got loads to show you today. We went there the other day, had a good mooch around, and they've got lots of items that are new in. So I cannot wait to show you what's new. And if you wait till the end of the video, I'm also going to be sharing a haul with you to show you what I bought as well. So if you want to see what's new in IKEA, just keep watching. Let's get into the video. So the first place we went was to the showrooms. I love looking at how the rooms are set up in Ikea. And I also love how they display their new items as well. This rug was new, haven't seen that one before. They also had loads of storage with it being January. Everyone's trying to organize at the moment. So they had plenty of storage in store. I am still absolutely obsessed with this sofa. This is new in, I saw it last time that I was in store. It's called the Heil Tarp, 829 pounds. They've got loads of different colors. And what is amazing is that you can change the covers. So if you change your paint in your room and you wanna change it up a little bit, you can do that, which is great. It's versatile, gives you options. I thought this storage situation would be great for an entryway, a hallway. This is great. This is from the Eket range. I thought it was going to be the Kallax, but this is the Eket range. And I think what they've done is they've put like contact paper over the drawers to give it that faux wood effect, which I thought was really good. A great idea. And again, a great versatile piece would work well in a playroom, a kid's room as well for storage, or even your living room too. Here's a very homely setup. I thought this was nice and you've also got the kitchen in the background there. IKEA do also do kitchens. They've got so many options and it's also a really good idea to look in the drawers and into the cupboards when you're there because they always have great storage solutions as well. Right, we've got the classic Billy bookcase, but in a new color. I love this gorgeous, deep walnut color. I think it's stunning and I love mixing woods as well. So I think this is gonna be a great one. I also saw online, they've got a new oak effect as well. So if you want something a little bit lighter, they've got that option, but this is a great storage piece. Absolutely love it. Dining tables, I wanted to show you these two. I love this one, the oak, it's just gorgeous. Would look gorgeous in a breakfast room, dining room. Love the look of this one as well. It's got a slightly darker color. More Bilanga, this one's called. They do have a round table in this as well. Absolutely beautiful. Right, I saw a hack for this the other day and people put socks in them, which I thought was such a great idea, especially if you wanna help with your kids' organizing skills. And this one here I thought would be great for, you know, plastic bags, reusable bags, popped up in the utility room or somewhere that's easy to access. Had 
to show you this Pax wardrobe system in here. This looks like such a great wardrobe room. Absolutely love it. I adore this kind of moody coloring and mood board. I think it works really well. And they've got loads of different colors of the pack systems. You can make it however you want. So new in store for 2024 is this kind of more wellness stuff. They've got all sorts. They had this valet stand, which is really lovely to drape clothes and things over. Had this little speaker. I also spotted a really gorgeous step up board. So again, very aesthetic this is. And I feel like it would work really nicely in any space. It doesn't look too obvious. And it was only £29, which I think is a great price. I also love the look of this lamp. I can't remember if you've seen this one before, but I loved it. Okay, we're in the market hall now so i'm going to show you a few little bits that i spotted in there love these love this as well a little um, draft stopper perfect for these winter days i've seen a few of these around lately and that one was eight pound fifty then we had some new vases and bedding very vibrant i love the look of these and i also really liked the look of all of the cushion covers i can never get enough of these i'm literally i have to stop myself from buying them whenever i'm there because there's so many nice ones but i saw those and lots of blankets too lots of new ones Here are some more items from the wellness area. I would say this was like a microfiber hooded towel, which I thought was really useful, especially for the summer days. I thought that'd be great. Then they had this kind of dry robe thing, which I thought was useful and a yoga mat as well. looking at the lighting when I go into Ikea as well I thought this was really cute it looks like a little cloud and it was only 17 pounds they do have a larger light like a, um, a pendant as well to match and then this one was only 35 pounds matches a big pendant as well that's really popular in Ikea love the look of these ones too I thought they were really nice more storage these are only three pound 15 they've got that kind of linen look to them which I thought was very nice again very aesthetic <laughs> it's been a while since i've seen new mirrors in ikea and i spotted some new mirrors they've actually switched it up in our store so they've moved everything around and it's much nicer to see this one was absolutely huge for £35. I thought that was amazing. There was also a couple of other sizes in this as well. So it's like a frameless mirror, basically. So very versatile, great for a bathroom as well. If you're doing like a bathroom renovation, it's very sleek, very chic. And I love the look of it. £25 for that one, amazing.
How stunning is this bowl of moss and foliage? I thought this would look so nice on a coffee table. Pop some coffee table books down, a little candle to the side. I thought that would be beautiful. Right, so I'm gonna show you what I bought when I was in Ikea the other day. I didn't get an awful lot, but the items that I did get were things that we needed and things that I like the look of. So let's get into what I bought in Ikea. Right, the first thing I saw, this was actually in the like stationary section where they have loads of like stationary storage and things like that. I spotted this, this is actually for your desk and it's a massive like cork board almost that you could use sorry my chair is so squeaky it's a really big cork board that you can use for your desk or you could even put this in a frame and then you can use it as an actual cork board to put your notes up and things like that but i have got this for Vinny's wall in his bedroom so you might remember for mark's birthday i bought him a darts board because he had mentioned that he wanted one he uses it and the boys use it all the time so rip the walls because the walls now have about 500 like little dots in them <laughs> because the darts obviously go into the wall and there's nothing to protect it around it and the other day we also bought, bought Orlando a slightly smaller darts board that now hangs just below the the main dartboard so it's on the wall as well and I thought I would get this to kind of put beneath the boys like main dartboard and then behind Orlando's dartboard just to you know save the wall a little bit before we do any kind of makeover or anything like that we do want to do a little bit to his bedroom over the next year but i thought for now we can use this cork board to save the wall from getting damaged anymore so i thought that was quite a good little purchase from ikea and again that's a really versatile one you could use it as a notice board you can use it on your desk and little things like that so love that i'm really glad that i came across that when i was in there because it's a nice inexpensive solution for dart players right now and you could even use this you could kind of the only thing is because it's got these kind of curved um corners i wish they were like straight corners because then you can just patch them onto the wall as like a tile and then you have like an even bigger an even bigger area i suppose you could cut them slightly so that's a little idea if you've got someone that loves darts as well like my boys do the next thing i got was some secateurs i really like the look of these ones they're a really gorgeous baby blue color and my current secateurs are they're really blunt actually and they're quite like they're just not very good anymore so i thought i would get those for you know when i'm cutting flowers and things like that in the spring summer Thought I'd pick some new ones up. The next thing I picked up was this vase, which is really nice. It almost looks like a giant glass, um, but it's slightly more tapered in at the top part here, and it's got that gorgeous smoked glass look, which I love the look of. And I thought this would go really nicely with these, which were new in, and they've got little sweet peas in store, which I thought was so nice. I've never seen these in IKEA before, and with you know spring hopefully just around the corner I know we've got winter but you know I thought these would be good for spring so I got those and I got this glass because I thought that would work perfectly they don't take up too much space but 
they look nice and pretty for spring so i got those love them how gorgeous are they talking of like plants and flowers i picked up these mini plant pots with like faux flowers in it or faux greenery i don't know what i'm going to do with these yet i might just dot them around the house but i also got these ones which look like real flowers how nice are they again i feel like these are you know i'm going to use these probably in the kitchen maybe on the shelf something like that i did buy one small pot which i'm going to use for one of the flowers i just think it was really nice because it's kind of got it looks like a scalloped detail doesn't it i love the look of this it's only tiny they actually had quite a few really small pots in store and they had loads of these so i'm assuming that's why they had all the pots because although these come in pots hold on let me open one for you although they come in a pot like this sometimes it's nice to just have a little bit more of a nicer looking pot it just looks quite realistic doesn't it so i feel like that is going to look really lovely on a shelf somewhere in the kitchen or in the dining room wherever but yeah i like the look of that one so i got one of these little pots and then lots of faux flowers i did also get you know how i love to grab a fern when i'm in ikea these are new ferns i've not seen these ones before and they were only one pound a stem how good is that one pound a stem you get the larger ones which is probably a little bit like that i would say there's like two of them on one but these were only one pound and i thought that was great so i'm going to put those in a vase i got four of those i've got a vase at the minute you know in the bar area downstairs that we recently gave a little makeover to i've got a vase in there with just one stem in there because i i took it from another vase so i thought i could put this in there i just prefer like more greenery rather than flowers i used to always buy lots of faux flowers i used to have like the hydrangeas and things like that but i do like um tulips in the spring and i did buy some great faux ones last year from amazon and they're quite kind of like a real touch feel to them they've got like that rubbery feel to them they're brilliant so i got those from amazon last year they did have some in ikea not as good as the amazon ones though but um yeah i do get those out for springtime but for the rest of the year i tend to stick with more greenery foliage so yeah those are brilliant and it's such a good buy and then the last purchase I got was this. I just got one of these blankets. You know they have these um, like muslin kind of blankets. They're really nice. This is in a really gorgeous kind of dark forest green. And I thought this would be really nice draped over my Ikea chair. Because the current blanket that I've got draped over it is all like bobbly. And I need to kind of get rid of the bobbles on it. And it's kind of a little bit too christmasy for me but yeah i really love these blankets they had them in a few different colors when i was in there i've already got one in blue haven't i for orlando's bedroom and i've got this dark green now which is nice so once i get it all out and ruffle it up a little bit i feel like this is going to look really nice on the sofa or on the chair downstairs and yeah i'm really happy with that but yeah that is everything that i got from ikea not a huge haul i mainly went there just to see what was new in store today and yeah we saw quite a few nice little bits let me know if there's anything that caught your eye and yeah thank you so so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.